by Stanton. Holmes wraps her up. I'm obviously really excited um, to run out there for my first game this week. Um, it's been a really long pre-season. Um, I feel like I've, you know, in terms of my strength and conditioning and uh, fitness levels, they've definitely improved from year one. So for me, it's my first game this weekend, so I can't wait to really put all that practice into action and get out there with the girls on Saturday. I had a little bit of a knee niggle kind of heading into round one and it was really unfortunate timing. It kind of uh, flared up just a week out of round one. So um, I've had a pretty steady week last week, more so off the legs, but this week been back into training 100% and um, yeah, obviously getting out there this weekend with the girls, which will be awesome. It's a really exciting forward line this year. We've obviously um, you know, got Perko, who showed us what, what she can do last year, but Jazzy Hewitt comes into the side and she's incredible. Um, she's one of our NT contingent and she's super tall and athletic, but got the pace and endurance of a midfielder. So chuck her down in the forward line and it's gonna be really exciting. And then we've got a couple more new girls in Ruthie Wallace and EJ, who are just electric players. So when you've got Perko and Jazzy kind of flying high and then Ruthie and EJ and some of the other girls doing the crumbing work, it's incredibly exciting. The decision to move to Adelaide wasn't an easy one. You know, I'm an Adelaide girl originally, but have called Darwin home for the last six years. But it was more so the fact that I wanted to experience, um, you know, the Adelaide Football Club holistically as such. So the club, the personnel down here, the facility um, itself, and um, obviously getting around the majority, I guess, of the group and, and being in that big group environment.